Hello and welcome to the Go Daily Fix for this Thursday. The Kiwi dollar, it was one of the biggest losers throughout the European and US trading session after US Federal Reserve minutes released showed that it was a closer call with respect to raising interest rates in the last meeting than many anticipated. We also saw the US dollar supported, the dollar index being supported, which is a uh, the US dollar against a basket of six major currency pairs uh, that was supported overnight and the Kiwi dollar being one of the biggest losers. The pound, well, it was marginally supported. You can't find any buyers at the moment with many traders taking the attitude once bitten, twice shy with regarding the pound. But we did see it was off its uh, lows just ever so slightly throughout the European trading session on Wednesday. But the Kiwi dollar right now, make sure you have a look at your charts on the daily chart with a 200 EMA because it's sitting right on that level right now. So if you're looking to buy the Kiwi and you're a buyer of the dips, then you'll want to see some buyers come back in for the Kiwi dollar against the US dollar. If you're a seller of the Kiwi dollar against the US dollar, then I would suggest to you that you would want to see that Kiwi dollar underneath that 200 EMA and getting some further weakness to the downside. We do expect Graham Wheeler to lower interest rates in the coming three to six months. And I do expect that the US Fed will raise interest rates in December. At the moment, we've got a 70% chance and that's what futures markets are showing us right now. So the pound stopped falling, oil, it also fell overnight as well slipping uh, off its highs, but the overwhelming long-term trend is still to the upside. If you check the Go Daily Fix today, there is a technical chart there that will show you the wave formation to the upside. And when you look at the technicals and the fundamentals right now, with OPEC agreeing to an oil production freeze and Russia also joining that freeze as well, technically and fundamentally, Many traders and economists are expecting oil to rise over the coming three or four months, and I support that view as well. The euro was lower. That was mainly on the back of the US dollar being higher after those Federal Reserve minutes. Looking ahead to today, we have a US Fed official speaking in Philadelphia on the US economy, and that is likely going to be the major speech that is going to be watched today from a central bank perspective. And we also have US oil infantries released through the US trading session. Other than that, just low and medium impacting news. So overnight, Kiwi dollar down, US dollar up again, and the pound, well, slightly higher. Until Friday, have a great day.